A Bitcoin soared to its highest level in more than 18 months this week. What's behind the surge? And a look at the current state of the cryptocurrency industry in tonight's Your Money Matters. Two years ago, Bitcoin reached an all-time high near $65,000. Last year, the largest cryptocurrency was valued at less than $17,000. There's been some bad actors in the crypto space. Uh, not any different than any other market. You point to almost any market, if there's a human run in it, you're going to find some level of corruption. Eric McDonald is the CEO of CoinLion, a platform for buying and selling crypto. He says the fall of FTX and other tokens has let the crypto market down over the past two years. Regulation is good. Overregulation is never great. Uh, it's not good. Uh, zero regulation is also not good. So we want to find this middle ground. While regulations have been passed in many other nations, McDonald says U.S. regulations are likely still far off. But Bitcoin is starting to make a comeback with some potential movement in the American markets. And a lot of that ties to the ETFs. So um, uh, BlackRock filed for an ETF a few months back. If approved, investors could get involved in cryptocurrency on the market like any other stock. You can buy shares in a fund that owns crypto. You don't actually buy crypto with the ETF. It doesn't matter, though. People are super hyped about it, especially institutions that want uh, another method for essentially buying into crypto. It's one reason behind the surge in Bitcoin this week. You've also had the Bitcoin halving. So the production of Bitcoin that gets created, think of that every day, gets cut in half next year. A Bitcoin halving happens every four years. The next one is on April 2024. As for the ETF, it has not yet been approved, but many are speculating a decision from the SEC could come early next year. 